What is happening? Nick Pollock here from PitcherList.com here for another pitcher video breakdown. If you don't know me, I was a former college pitcher and pitching coach, and I'm here to talk about this amazing start from Huascar Noah, and we'll also talk about Shane McClanahan a little bit later today. And if you don't know Huascar Noah, he does two things really, really well. He throws the <laughs> he throws a really, really hard fastball, 100 miles per hour at times in this start, averages at 97 miles per hour. And he has a fantastic slider that he throws about 50% of the time. Here he is in the seventh inning, essentially surviving the entire start with just these two options. He does have a changeup as well that's developing, but it's not really a major part of his repertoire. So if you have a fastball and a slider, essentially the mentality is always the same, especially one at 97 miles per hour, where in general... What you're trying to do is you're trying to throw sliders on the outer third of the plate and then trying to get them to, to swing down below it, maybe a little bit away. While with fastballs, you're just trying to avoid the heart of the plate, probably low as well. You're trying to go maybe a little bit away, maybe up, maybe inside as well. With uh, Wasker Noah's fastball, he only earned one whiff in the start, which isn't really what you want to see, but he earned a ton of whiffs, uh, sorry, a ton of outs with the fastball away. I, I think we're going to see a lot of that here, but let's just go into it. Here he is in the seventh inning against uh, against Harrison. Here's the first pitch. And he actually starts it off with an 82 mile per hour slider. Now, typically we see from Wasker, it's about 85. I saw him a couple of times in this start take off a little of the slider to get like a get me over curveball in that way. Obviously, he's a slider, not a curveball. But it, it has that same feeling. I mean, typically guys do have like a fourth pitch or a third pitch of a curveball that they just throw oh oh to steal a strike. That's what it felt like with Anoa here. I wouldn't expect to see more 82 mile per hour curveballs though. That's not the right one. There we go. So oh one now. He's probably gonna throw a fastball away, change the speeds here. I mean 82 all of a sudden to like 97 or something like that. Goes with another slider, and oh Harrison's upset. He spins around. Oh, man, I'm sure he was debating in his head uh, if it was a slider or not and he didn't want to commit to it. Oh, I want to see that again. Look at this slot. Oh, he's so upset. He was thinking, man, I can just push that to right field. Um, but good job on Anoa. Having the confidence to throw that 0-1 to get a strike. Now it's 0-2. And now you got to think, like, what do I do now? Do I throw fastballs upstairs? I would do that. You have them at 85, 80, 82. And even if you miss with that fastball upstairs, you still can either do it again or at least it sets up for another slider. At this point, you have to think that Harrison has seen two of those sliders in a row right now. He could theoretically fell off one, unless it's absolutely perfect uh, locate, located down here. So I got to think it's going to be a fastball at this point. And there it is. Here it is. Come and hit it. Now, not a great one. This is actually a pretty poorly located fastball, 96. Yes, it, it is 96 as opposed to the 82 and 85 we just saw from Renoa, so it does get the foul ball. But if you notice with the glove, that's supposed to be up here, uh, and he got down in the zone a bit, allowed Harrison to stay alive in this at-bat. Uh, we want to see you know, uh, live higher up uh, to get that whiff. He would have gotten that whiff all day if he had actually executed that pitch. So if I'm Renoa now, uh, I would love to... Th Throw the fastball again. I mean, that looks like it's the uh, it's it's the previous pitch. There we go. There was a fastball again, but this one down, and that's a really interesting one. He was not trying to do that. Once again, he's trying to go up, uh, as you can see with the glove here. I don't know why they're going away necessarily, but I guess they are. Maybe that's the the uh, the sticky against uh, Harrison. Um, this shouldn't be down. Uh, it is a really good location eventually. Uh, and Harrison is lucky to get a piece of it, but it does now set up a really nice slide. Like you can throw the fastball in the same spot. Oh, sorry, the slide in the same spot and falling off the plate. And it's kind of hard not to or to resist that idea. Uh, so I'm sure that they're going to do it here. Now, that's the previous one because it's a wonderful bug here. That will be uh, film room. Oh, he throws it. Misses terribly. I mean, so, <laughs> so far away from the spot. Uh, why does Harrison swing is what you're wondering. He's thinking maybe this is going to come back in because he's beat on it. You can actually see his foot comes down early. Look at this. Fo foot is down. He's not even ready to swing. But he's terrified that this is going to curl back in over the plate and he's going to get called for strike three. So he has a stupid late swing and barely gets a piece of it. And he stays alive. Oh, man. 
throw a good one. Throw a good slider now down and away. I think you have him dead to rights. I don't know if this is the bug or not. I can't tell because it's a little too. No, oh, man. MLB Film Room has this terrible bug. Uh, that it just doesn't go to the next one. So here we go. So it looks like they're going fastball again up. And they actually do get it up. This is, uh, that's, uh, that's the, what he wanted to do before. Harrison, ready for it. And Ozuna gets the out. Man, I got to say, so the previous pitch, it did indicate from Harrison that he was looking for that fastball and was able to foul off the, the, the slider. That could have been information, you know, I used. I wasn't really too in tune with it. But it did showcase Harrison was focusing on that heater in this at-bat. And he did take two sliders to start earlier on. So that is information that, you know, it can use in future, uh, future at-bats is dictate how is this hitter approaching me here. So, I mean, yeah, this should have been probably a slider down here. He put himself in harm's way with that one. Almost took him out. Uh, good job by Zuna getting there. At least you got your first out of the of the inning. Oh, come on. We can do this. That will be film room. Get there. All right. So, Josh Bell is up next. There you go. You had to force it in. <laughs> All right, so Josh Bell is up. You're probably going to see a fastball or a backdoor slider for a strike. Probably both away. Oh, he goes with a changeup. Oh, man. So this is what I was talking about in the beginning. Uh, he has a changeup that's developing. It's not quite there yet. And this is, I would think, the scenarios that you do want to throw this changeup, right? Theoretically, you can just live down with, with sliders and try and jam guys up and in against lefties. But it is really nice to have that third option just to stay away from and to keep them a little bit more off balance. Uh, I'm I'm excited. Look, it's a six nothing game in the seventh inning. You already have one out. This is exactly the scenario where you should be experimenting with that changeup, and it's not a terrible one. You know, it does have some good fade to it. It does come out ten miles per hour slower at times than his fastball. I, uh, it's just uh, he's got a little bit of work to do to get that more of a part of his repertoire. I would do wonder by the second half or so, maybe uh, I know it is feeling more comfortable with that pitch. And there is this wonderful bug still working with me here. This is incredibly frustrating. All right, it's fine. Here we go. So now we probably got to think it's either a slider trying to get a strike or a fastball up. Ah, and he misses way upstairs. So I do like the idea of like you change up over here, then you go up inside. Misses too far out. All right, let's try it again. I, I would try and do the same exact spot another time as MLB doesn't want to give it to me. So we are going to force it this way. I would go, I would go up here. Oh, but that's a gorgeous slider. Oh, that's beautiful. See, okay. So Josh Bell's thinking my way, but like, right. They just tried to go up stairs with me. Doesn't like the change up. He's going to try and do that fastball again. And look at this swing. I mean, this is a two Oh swing. Josh Bell felt he was committed and saw it was a slider and thought, okay, you know what? If it goes into my wheelhouse, then fine. And then just went straight underneath it. I mean, what a beautiful pitch. All right, so 2-1. So looks like they're setting up a way. Could be that change up again, but probably a slider as he doesn't want to start this with a walk. It was a fastball, and this is interesting. So they have it set up. So they're kind of thinking here, and it creeps back over towards Bell. Uh, in general, though, I, I will say, um, well, there's two theories here. So there's there's one against like slap hitters, and there's one for guys like Bell, big guys. So for slap hitters, you don't want to stay away. You want to get them more in because they're more prone to pushing it the other way. Think like your Brett Gardner types, your Freddie Galvis, etc. Uh, so that means that generally missing or coming up middle is better because they don't get to go the other way with it. However, with a guy like Josh Bell, your sluggers, sometimes there's a thought process of you want to stay a little bit more away because then they'll try to pull everything and then it'll come around the ball. That might be where they're going with here. Uh, this is not a terrible pitch. This is actually pretty solid, honestly. Josh Bell does a really good job. He was looking for that fastball. He kind of, again, told them with the slider uh, before and he took advantage of it. Yeah, this is a bad play by uh, by Pache in center. 
uh, Pache and all of a sudden turns into a triple, even though it shouldn't. Uh, which is a bit frustrating, but you know, baseball. So, all right. So now you have a man on third, uh, one out. And if you're, you know, what? yeah, it's six nothing. I'm going to try and throw strikes here. I'm not going to play around Schwab or anything like that. Uh, so he throws a first pitch slider. Generally, you do see that with a man in scoring position. The first pitch you throw, especially against a bigger slugger type, is a breaking ball. And he misses this. He misses it up and away, which is really a little frustrating. After throwing such a good one to Josh Bell, uh, it's a bit annoying to see that. And there's that bug again. Okay, cool. So now you have 1-0. It's probably going to be fastball up and in, right? That's what he does. Really nice one. That's perfect. Absolute perfect pitch right on the inside edge here oh that's such a good offering if you can throw that two more times like he has this at bat one i mean that's such a perfect perfect pitch for me no i mean are you gonna throw that again you just executed it perfectly and you know that's going to work so you could you could probably just throw that one again uh, so he's trying to find that change up this is why he wants that change up is against lefties throws a terrible one i mean let's, let's see how he throws this badly uh, he just gets too far on the side of it on release. You can kind of see that he comes out that way. He's his whole body's going towards first base on the side of it. It goes, yeah, it goes all arm side. That's not what you want at all. All right, so two one. Throw that fastball again. Oh, he throws a slider. Oh man, I love the fact that you know it's just like I don't care. Just hit my slider. Try and hit my slider. That's a that's a pretty meaty two one pitch. If Schwarber in any way is expecting a slider, like that that can be absolutely crushed. The thing is, Schwarber wasn't. Schwarber was like, all right, I want that fastball up and in again. That's probably what I'm going to get, um, which I was thinking too. And it's cool to see a Noah 2 0 and 2 1 go slider. It might be something that hitters want to note moving forward uh, that when behind the count, you know, it still is going to throw sliders, and you might want to guess for those sometimes instead. So now 2 1, back to the fastball. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not, yeah, I'm sorry, not, not 2 1, 2 2. Get fastball up and in, or is it a slider? Goes to the slider, and you can see. That Schwarber is late on this. Like, look at this. He's selling out for an inside fastball. He's thinking that maybe, all right, I hope this is a ball, but there's a slider coming out away, and maybe I need to put some wood on this. Because, uh, that, yeah, that would have been strike three maybe. So, uh, good job by Schwarber staying alive. But he's telling Enoa, I'm waiting for your fastball. I'm throwing another slider if I'm Enoa here, just based on that swing. So, trying to throw the slider down. It is a fastball, and... Schwarber was not really ready for it. His timing was almost there. It might have been lo like location here is fine. I, I wonder if Schwarber was looking inside, and that's kind of why he couldn't do this. Maybe it's just a really good 97 mile per hour fastball. And he gets the ground out. Sure, there's a run. It's probably an unearned one uh, because uh, of the play to center yeah, by Pache. Uh, so you got two outs now. Base is empty. I would just attack here. Yeah. There's a fastball. Wow, that's incredibly generous. And actually, I will say, Noah rushed here. He doesn't even come to a full set. I mean, what what is this? Why are you doing this? All of a sudden, two out. Base is empty. Like, relax. This is when you should be taking a deep breath and be like, all right, I just got to get one more out here. No, he's trying to rush through it. What are you doing? Oh, he's trying to quick pitch him, maybe, I guess. It's not a strike. I mean, yeah, it's not a strike. And, like, I don't like this. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Like, you don't need to do those extra things, you know. You're dope. <laughs> you're fantastic. So, 01, you're going to see a slider now. And you got one down, and this is fine. 01, you want it a little bit higher up, considering it's also Castro, and you have such a good slider, and, like, you don't really need to rely on that. This is good 02. I would think 01, like, you know, is throwing so well that he wants a little bit higher up. But, hey, you got the, the foul ball. Everything is wonderful. Now, too, I would throw another one. I mean, you just swung at the one out of the zone. We can do this MLB, right? No, we can't. Clearly not. All right. And I got to now go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. I'm throwing a slider. And he did. And that's not even, like... That's not even a confident. He's front foot is already down, butts out over here. He's not ready to hit this. He's pushing out and he just happens to get the barrel of the bat on it. 
So this is too good of a pitch. I know that's crazy. This is like down and away. Like, oh man. But the thing is, based on how Sullen Castro was hitting this, you can see that you would have had an out if you had thrown it not in the zone. So I know that's a crazy thought, right? Like, what are you talking about, Nick? That's like a pitcher's pitch right on the outside corner. Yeah, O2, you want this lower because Castro's already shown that he's going to chase it with that O1 pitch. Look at the body language here. He was going to chase it if it wasn't in the zone. So, I mean, you know what? I actually messed up a little bit there. I mean, he still should have gotten it out probably, but not what he wanted to do. Come on. Come on, MLB. You got this, please. Nope. You're going to make me do it the hard way. So here we go. So now bases, uh, what man on first, probably a fastball pump in there. No nope, slider. still trusting that that's fine, I guess, but it is frustrating. They didn't execute that one. You gotta go back to fastball. You, you gotta trust, like make Gomes beat you at your 96, 97. He overthrows that one. Honestly, right now, if I'm the catcher, I'm, I, I don't want to do a manager visit because it's six to one in the seventh, but like our mountain visit rather, but it's like, just slow down. Just, just take a deep breath. All right. Just pump. Me and you, let's just throw throw me a fastball right over the plate here. Relax. Everything is fine. No. Oh, man. This is, this is bad today. So here we are. 2-0, oh, probably a fastball. Another slider in 2-0. Oh. This is ridiculous. Wow. I mean, yeah, you're going to get a strike on that. It's just not typical. I mean, maybe this is just how I need to be considering uh, Eno moving forward. As this is the last one. And, of course, they're not going to do it for me. So, so I mean, I'm thinking, like, you're throwing that 2-1. You're going to throw it 2-2 probably. Or, I mean, add just a weak foul ball on it. But there you go. Fastball 97 right on the edge. Gets you out. Easy peasy. I mean, so so here's my quick assessment of this. You know, his stuff is great. You know, the the Nationals couldn't really do much with his heater. The 97, it's, it's fantastic. Trusting a slider a ton uh, is is wonderful to see. Lots of 2021 sliders to get back in the count, and they worked. Uh, that kind of stuff is rare. Um, generally, I talk about three pitches you need. A fastball you can command that well, with confidence, or at least put in the zone with confidence. Secondary pitch you can get for whiffs, and secondary pitch you can get for strikes. You know, a slider right now is both of those last two. He's throwing it at 2021, and he's also turning it to get those whiffs. I, I love what I see right now. Um, I guess my biggest question mark is if that changeup will develop to give him just that other option when the slider isn't there for 2021 counts. And I will say that the fastball command isn't quite as impeccable as I want it to be. Uh, it's better than I've seen for like you know most games of Dylan Cease or Freddie Peralta or stuff like that, but uh, there's still work to be done um, being consistent with that four seamer. But yeah, very very encouraging stuff for Wasker Enoa. Uh, next up we have Shane McClanahan, and uh, this is uh, I mean he's so good guys. He's 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 absolutely amazing. I can't express this enough. So this is from Twitch chat. Uh, if you guys don't know, I, I do these every single day. Twitch.tv slash picture list. Uh, 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, every weekday morning. That's Eastern time. I do these around 10, 15, 10, 30. Uh, so definitely come in. You get to request who I'm going to feature. And who doesn't want to watch the fantastic Shane McClanahan. If you don't know Shane McClanahan, he throws upper 90s, sometimes even 100 uh, from the left side. Uh he also has a fantastic low 90 slider. We've seen like 93, sometimes even 94. Uh, big curveball, 83 miles per hour. And a working changeup as well. But what you're going to see is a lot of power pitching here. A lot of hard fastballs uh, along the edges. And then you're going to see that paired with a really, really nice slider. So let's get to it. Uh, against Mike Trout, what do you do first pitch? You do a fastball 98 as I think Trout wanted to see it. Uh, one more time. This is, this is the fourth inning here. As we hope that the the Rays will one day let him actually be a starter. At 01, he threw the slider. This is actually kind of a mistake uh, from McClanahan. He wants this a little bit more, just not up <laughs> in the middle of the plate. Uh, and 
I, I think Trout's a little upset that he missed that one because that's pretty much of a that's a pretty big mistake. But now you have him 0-2. Uh, there we go. Why does it say, oh, oh my god, Bally Sports? Come on, get it together. Uh, he's going to try and bury a slider in here, which has worked a ton, especially when you throw it to 93. And he overthrew that one. Uh, sometimes you don't really get the, the, the wrist snap. And I don't mean snap like a twist. When you come off, sometimes you're just too, too behind the ball, so it's just like a straight arrow. Um, that one just went straight into the dirt. Nothing to, to chase with there with Trout. But now that you're showing that you want to do it, uh, you can think two ways here. One, if I'm Trout, he's not going to go back there. Uh, which might mean a fastball up and in. Uh, if I'm a Clanahan and if I'm feeling really confident in my stuff because it's going to be 1-2 now, I try and do it. I try and execute it and, and throw it better this time. Because it's 1-2 here. But no, he does go, oh my lord, 100 miles per hour inside corner. That's supposed to be actually a thing away, and I do prefer it here. Man, that was close. 100. So now throw that slider again. Throw that slider and throw it, throw it the way that you wanted to before. Unreal. 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 That's so it's so filthy. And, I, and honestly, I think McClanahan wanted to get that maybe even slightly farther inside uh, to dive into no man's land. Because this is, this is hittable. But this 100 miles per hour paired with this, this looks like a mistake pitch all of a sudden and then just falls away. And that's Mike Trout. I mean, that's Mike Trout. You just struck out with that. Unbelievable. All right, so now we're going to get a lefty when uh, MLB wants to let me see it. <laughs> uh, so with a lefty, you got to think. I mean, you saw it. It's 100 miles per hour and then sliders. So you're going to see a lot of hovering here once again with that slider. Especially against the lefty. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a first pitch strike here with a slider. He tries to do that, and he pulls it. Uh, or he doesn't pull it. He, his arm lags a little bit and goes inside. That's fine. If I'm Jared Walsh, I'm, I feel like it's kind of weird. It might be a mistake. You don't, you know, we know that it's a mistake. The batter doesn't always know that's a mistake. Maybe he's trying to do like a front door uh, curveball for a strike or slider for a strike, rather. So you can kind of take advantage of that. Uh, and you can go away now again because I don't really know. And there's 98 away. And, ooh. So here's the thing. So that's a good piece of hitting from uh, from Walsh. Staying in on this and going with it. Yeah, it's kind of middle, but he's not trying to do too much with it. And at 98, you are generally going to be late uh, than ahead. So if I'm a Clanahan, he's telling me that I, he's on my fastball. I got to be going more with a slider away. I mean, that's, that's, that would be my approach right now. Keep him off of that heater. So slider away now. He tries to do it. Actually, I think this is the curveball, and which I think is the right call. Like, you just you don't want Walsh to be thinking to be comfortable with uh, sitting fastball at the moment. And that missed, and that's okay. So now 2 1, slider again. Got to be. Yeah, there it is. And look how far ahead Walsh is, my lord. I mean, let's just, where, where, where is this pose? Yeah, look at that. 2-2, mm. two, two, and he's still selling out for a fastball. So I'm throwing it again. You just saw, like, how much he sold out for that one. Throw it again. Throw the better one over here now. As he does. 90 miles per hour, better than any of the other pitches he threw the entire time. <laughs> and Walsh is dead to rights. I mean, in some ways, that foul ball is such a benefit you know, you think like, oh, encouraging if I'm Walsh. Like, oh, I'm so close. I'm almost there. If I'm a Clanahan, it's like, great. You gave me all the information I needed to say, I'm not giving you that. And you're going to be selling out for it. So it, it's it's a lot of information inside of that bat. And McClanahan just took advantage of it and executed a really nice slider to put him away. Ex well done. Well done. And, of course, MLB stinks and is going to do this again now. Uh, so, next up is Iglesias. I'm imagining with this, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's like, like fourth, your fastball is so good. It's just pumping fastball down, down the middle here. And they do Iglesias. That's a great swing. That's a really, really good swing. 
I gotta say, like this is this is a fine first pitch. Like that's that's great. Oh oh, sure, all day. Glacius gets straight to it. I mean, he was ready for a heater and he jumped on it. Excellent job, well deserved. Like that's nothing negative against Shane McClanahan, if you ask me. That's a guy who's just looking for one pitch with a fastball, went up and got it, executed with it. Nice, nicely done. Ah, oh, come on. Don't do this to me. You're killing me. Okay. So now man on second. You guys know the ordeal, right? Big bat, man on second, scoring position, you throw a breaking ball. Really nice one. 89, that lands in the zone. That's all you're trying to do with it. You're not trying to get a whiff on this. You're trying to get it in the zone and not, like, hung up here. That's all you're trying to do. I... Uh, 86 was a curve. Okay, cool. So now at 01, I'm honestly trying to now bury one closer to here. Same thing with the slider. As he tried to, he got a little bit late on it. It can be interesting when you have a man on base for the first time. It's new timing, right? He's doing a bit of a slide step. Uh, so sometimes you'll see this um, from pitchers where the first time in the inning when it's from the stretch you'll see them lag a little with their arm and then all of a sudden they have pitches that are going farther away than they would like uh, cause just think about it your lower half is going out before your arm and if you just kind of do that yourself you realize right 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 okay if I'm out too far here that means my arm is farther behind so then the release is going to be towards my arm side earlier than I would like uh, so McClanahan tugged this one or, or dragged his arm too far. It went away. Um, that's an easy take for uh, for Justin Upton. So now 1-1. One, one. This isn't the pitch. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> MLB, why do you do this to me? All right. So at 1-1 one, one here. Uh, it might be time to establish a fastball. I would think Upton taking that last one, though, he's still thinking if he can throw a slider for a strike again, I would do it. He tries to. I like it. Didn't quite get it. And I do like the fact that, um, I don't know, is this a Zuninu? It might be. He's setting up inside as he wants to get McClanahan to tug this way. So if I am the catcher, I'm trying to do next pitch is a fastball up and in. I'm trying to recalibrate McClanahan to say like, hey, no, 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 We're, you're pulling too far this way. We got to pull you too far this way so that you can get back towards the plate. So it looks like they're not giving in, though, with a fastball. And he goes with that. Oh, my God. And he goes with the slider as Upton is still just waiting for the fastball. And I got to say, that's the. I think that is the right pitch call, obviously. It's, it's smart. It's, it's just about a question of confidence. Do you believe that your pitcher is going to be able to execute that slider and make the adjustment after two bad ones? And he kind of didn't. You know, he that this is a little too far down, but Upton is so ready for a heater. And he's so willing to sell that out for that at two one that he swings over this one that is a little too far out of the zone. Oh, lucky day for McClanahan. Okay. And they're not giving it to me. So give me a second. So now that he, he's at 2-2, two, two, you haven't seen a fastball yet. And he still doesn't give it to him. I mean, McClanahan's like, no, I am not going to give Justin Hopton a, a fastball. I mean, look at this one. This is, again, it's supposed to be down and in. It can absolutely burn him. We haven't really seen him execute a good slide this entire at bat against Upton. And it stays away, and it would have been a backdoor one. Good job by Upton fouling this off. But he's still looking sli a fastball completely. And I think it's the right pitch call. Do not give in at all. It's going to be another slider. you got to think. Now, he finally goes fastball. It's 100, but that's an easy, easy, easy take for Upton, right? This is way off the plate. Uh, like at, at no point does it really look like a strike at 100. It's just not. Upton is looking here. And he gets this guy. It's just like, no, I'm not in any way interested. So after throwing that fastball, I'm thinking he's going to go back to a slider now. 
and he does very hittable. But here's the thing, Upton can't do anything with it because he's just still waiting for a fastball. All McClanahan needs to do is execute one good slider. Like one really good slider. He either gets a ground up from Upton or, or a swing strike rate. So I don't believe that he's going to give in at all. That's not the one. I don't think he's going to give in with a fastball. Oh, that's a great take. Oh, that's the best one that McClanahan threw. Man, and I think Upton is realizing at that point he must because that's a really, really tough take. If Upton is sitting fastball the entire time, uh, earlier in the count, if McClanahan throws that, he gets the whiff. But this at 3-2, McClanahan has shown his hand that he's not going to give in with a fastball, especially with an open base and two out. That he's only looking heater, and he's able to recognize that. As, and I guess at that point, Upton is expecting a slider and knew that that one would break off the plate. That's a really, really awesome take um, from Justin Upton. Well, well deserved. So now with Pujols, I mean, do you just kind of throw a fastball or do you throw a first pitch slider? First pitch slider does not get the call down. Good take there from Pujols. Uh, you might go again with it. Honestly, that's the kind of MO right now is that McClanahan is just comfortable throwing only sliders and doesn't really want to give in with a fastball that all these guys are looking for. I mean, you saw that with Jared Walsh. Glacius saw it. Upton just saw it. Everybody is like, just, just sit fastball with this guy. Which is interesting because he's, I mean, he's just going heavy on, on sliders. So he finally throws a fastball at 99, and Albert cannot handle it. <laughs> like, he, he just could not whatsoever handle that pitch. So so now at 1-2, I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw another fastball, handle this one. But no, he hangs, actually, he hangs a slider. And I got to say, this entire e inning, McClanahan didn't really, like, once a guy got on base, he didn't quite get the timing to be consistent with the slider inside, which he could have totally messed with. He just threw a fastball here and it could have fallen off. This one up and away. Uh, Pujols pushes it to right field and that's for an out. And there you go. McClanahan gets out of it. But that's, I mean, I think that's a good representation of what McClanahan can do, right? Very interesting to see him go so far away from that heater when he's throwing 99-100. But you can understand the Angels dictated it to him we're not going to get beat on the slider. We're going to go after your fastball. We're going to attack with that. Sorry, we're not going to get beat on your fastball. We're going to just focus on that, and we think we can make some good hard contact. Glacius did. March, Marsh did as well. Uh, but good adjustment for McClanahan. He recognized that, worked a slider. Yes, he didn't have his best one. Uh, he didn't really figure it out with uh, when he was from the stretch, but his stuff is just so good. And one day when he gets that change of working too, then it's going to be even harder, harder for guys to just to sit fastballs. And he's going to be even deadlier. So I'm excited for Shane McClanahan in the future and what's ahead. But that's it for today's pitcher video breakdown. As always, I am Nick Pollock. You can follow me on Twitter at Pitcherless. Watch this live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Pitcherless. And as always, may your bad bips be low and your strikeouts high.